Alright everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having a good day so far, because my day has been fantastic, so you should feel jazzed as well. Ugh. Oh, jazzed cringe. But today, my friends, we are going to be visiting the wonderful and fabricated world of Lily Jean. You know, the influencer who fabricated her whole life online. How did she do this, you might ask? Well, I actually covered this in my last video, which uh, had 100,000 views. <laughs> Fucking get in, Sam. But of course, you know, that has nothing to do with today's video. Uh, I am not driven by views. Uh, that is uh, a promise. Subscribers, yes, however. So, you know, why not hit the subscribe button? We're trying to push for 100,000 right now. If you choose not to do so, you know, that's completely fine. But, uh, I just have to warn you, um, do expect to see me in a balaclava turning up outside your grandma's house. It's just part of the deal, really. Now, let's begin with a quick little recap. So, Lily Jean, the girl who faked her entire life online as if she was some sort of famous influencer. I guess influencer is just a, a cooler word for unemployed. <laughs> However, the more important question is, is what did her influential occupation consist of? Well, my friends, she was just fantastic at acting. And I will wave at them and shout at them. What do you mean I can't be queen? Phenomenal. Simply phenomenal is what I say every time I climax. She's also quite uh, quite great at makeup as well if you if you're interested. To see people still on about this drama, I'm disgusted. Now this is where all the questions do come in. How on earth does Lily Jean have a million followers when her makeup looks like this compared to all the other makeup artists in the world? You know, it does seem a bit odd. I'm not doubting anyone's ability here, but it just does seem odd compared to the fact that her makeup isn't as up to standard as everyone else's, I guess you could say. I'm disgusted. You know, this is where the whole fabrication began. She first started with a picture at the Met Gala. Yes, this is her at the Met Gala, everyone. A little bit of an insight for you, though. This picture is uh, faker than my nan's prosthetic leg. But before we continue, here's a quick message from our sponsor. So, my friends, you probably haven't seen me on social media recently. Why is that? Well, I'll bloody tell you. I've been playing this phenomenal game known as Raid Shadow Legends. And let me tell you, the graphics are good. <clears throat> Let me rephrase that. These are some of the best graphics I as a human has ever seen. One of my favourite features in this game is that you can build your best squads within specific factions and fight in the faction wars. Now what you need to know about these factions is that every champion in this game belongs to a faction. There are a total of 16 different factions which are then divided between 4 different faction groups. And my favourite faction is the Tellurians. Mainly because of the High Elves who are vicious animals. Like my High Elf for example. If you have this guy on your team, the other team won't stand a chance. His scatterboat skill where he randomly attacks three enemies is overpowered and unpredictable. Filthy Ox. I mean, look at the reviews on this champion. Everyone is loving my guy over here. Also, in case I didn't mention, this game is completely free. And that's a bargain. And the best part about this game is there is so much to do. Challenge yourself to your edge in the ongoing tournaments. Compete against the entire raid community while fighting the Spider's Den, Ice Golem's Peak, the Almighty Fire Knight, or the Notorious Dragon in order to win some awesome rewards and rare artifacts. And if you really want to, you can find me in the game under the nickname of Curtis Price underscore YT. Go on, just add it up, man. You may as well. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you are a new player, you will get 100,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, plus one free champion, the Executioner. And let me tell you, this Executioner, <laughs> he's one badass, I can't lie. He just does look beast. Just overpowered, it's just that simple, just download the game now. Once you've done that, all the treasure will be waiting for you in the top right corner on that little icon right there, and a job's a good done. But yes, it would really mean the world if you do download this game, because you're not only supporting Raid Child Legends, but you're also supporting me as a channel and as a person as well. And it will increase the chance of me doing more business like this in the future with our good friends, Raid Child Legends. So, with that said, Let's get back to the video. That actually wasn't her at the Met Gala, it was actually Taylor Swift. She just photoshopped herself in. She had a very horrible job of that as well, so you lost some brownie points there, Lily Jean. When more of her antics started to continue, where she actually appeared on the front of a Teen Vogue magazine. Now you can imagine it's a lot of influencers' dreams to appear on a front of a magazine. Well, uh, Lily Jean just thought, you know, instead of actually grinding to get there, she thought she'd just photoshop herself on the front of a magazine and present it as if it was real. Even though Teen Vogue magazine stopped producing uh, magazines uh, a long time ago. She also pretended that fans were actually taking pictures of her on the street as well by saying, Oh, caught me on the street, love my fans. And that person taking that picture that you see right here was in fact Lily Jean's mother. There was no fan. Unless you can call your mum as your fan, I guess. You know. 
her and floats your boat, I guess. But it's the fact that she posted all this on social media looking as if she was some influential person. Now you might be asking yourselves, and I know all your questions will be answered today in today's session. How does she have so many Instagram followers? <laughs> Well, she botted her Instagram followers, of course. But Lily's Jean's numbers were off the charts, you could say. One month on Instagram, Lily Jean would gain 140,000 followers, and then the next month, she uh, she only gained 6,000. It's quite the drop, wouldn't you say? Now, you might be asking yourselves, well, Kurt, there's so always the people in the comment section. Well, uh, <laughs> get a load of this bad boy. Uh, they were bots as well, and so was the likes. I know, bizarre, right? Well, to be fair, not all of them were, uh, you know, Bots, should we say. Uh, a lot of them were uh, fan accounts that Lily Jean had made. She had made fan accounts for herself. Now, once a lot of people caught on to this, they actually started to mass report her account, which resulted in her losing over 200,000 followers. Or she also has this amazing mystical boyfriend that we've never seen called... Fipe. <laughs> I did all right feet bait nah it just doesn't work does it? Oh so what's your boyfriend's name then? Oh it's feet bait it is. <laughs> Fuck off. But we've never seen this bloke before. We we've never even seen his face. We don't even know if he exists. I'm led to believe he does not. However, the plot thickens. He apparently started dating her when he was 23 and she was 14. That's right. non sorry. But see, I gave that rundown because that was me caring about you there. <laughs> We're friends now, right? <laughs> Relatable. However, before we do jump into the next segment where Dr. Don Valentine sums up the latest shittery going on, at the end of this video, I actually have a collaboration going on with all of my friends where they absolutely rip the living shite out of me. You really don't want to miss that. I get utterly, completely ripped to shreds. And my career's over now. So stick around for that. But with that said, hit the subscribe button and welcome to the next segment in the video of Dr. Don Valentine in Deep Space Disaster. Bye. Okay. After going into months of hiding, I have returned. So my friends, welcome to the ever-ending story of Lily Jean. And oh boy, can I tell you, what a fucking roller coaster this has been. However, despite everything we covered in the last video, there are more things to unfold, new things to date that we must uncover. Now, as we know, Lily Jean likes to make fan accounts of herself, posing as if she actually has real stands. Now, amongst it all, you can see these stan accounts posting pictures as Lily Jean. Wow, she's so beautiful. Damn, I wish I could be like Lily Jean. <laughs> Doesn't really make much sense when the person behind the phone is Lily Jean herself. So you're complimenting yourself. Lily Jean wishes she was Lily Jean. The fuck? However, there's a new amazing fan account being set up. I can't wait to show you this one. This one is a cracker. Yeah. Feet pictures. We need a, a, just a, a little word here a second. You're telling me Lily Jean is now posing as a fake fan account where she posts pictures of her own feet on there to gain more attention. That's a, that's a fucking lovely ad, isn't it? Now, I'm not sure what her mystery boyfriend feet bay thinks of this, but you know, I wouldn't be fucking happy with this, like, fucking hell. Just to let you know, she does have a boyfriend. They started dating when she was 14 and he was 23. Yeah, that, that's right. Um, and of all names, his name is feet bay. I mean, you and your mother, right, Lily? You, you, you do understand that the only people who's going to be looking at these pictures is fat, greasy men that are over the age of 60 in their basements wanking off to these pictures. You're all right with that, yes? No, Dr. Don Valentine, it wouldn't be 60-year-old men. Of course it wouldn't. Well, guess what, bitches? That leads on to my next point. Now, I'm not exactly sure what goes through Lily Jean or her mother's mind, but uh, these are the kind of comments that Lily gets on her Instagram pictures. <laughs> Love to see more of you, your full body, sweetheart. <sighs> Fucking hell. She's very pretty, sweetheart. All right, fuck, I'll have a day off, Clifford. You know, that is the kind of comments she gets on her Instagram pictures and her mother seems to not care about that. She still allows her young daughter to post the pictures on Instagram, pretending to be this massive influencer when she's clearly not. And then you've got blokes like these, who are over 60, with a handlebar moustache. Couldn't really get worse than that, could it? Next topic. Now, my friends, we know how much we all love art. Art is lovely to look at. We feel great when we look at art. I am aroused right now. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes true art really does hit the spot, you know? But I'm sure you love art. 
right? You love art as well, yeah? You like this, yeah? Well, I like that too. So we're on the same page here. Subscribe, we are. We have something in common. However, someone else who has also has something in common to both of us is actually Lily Jean. She also does art as well. <laughs> Fantastic, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Well, uh, here's one of the wonderful pieces Lady Jean has taken it upon herself to, to actually create. Uh, it's this one right here. Just by looking at it, how much do you think a piece like this, you know, a piece of beautiful art, you could say, how much would something like that be worth? $5 perhaps? $15? $25? Uh, well, unfortunately not, my friends. This piece of art right here is worth $150. For this. 150 that is for all you small brain people out there. I don't mean to be nasty or anything because I am trying to be a lot nicer but this is the kind of thing I'd hang on the inside of my shed. Um, I just, I'm sorry. Um, but we all know the tragic stuff that's going on in the world with the unfortunate uh, death of George Floyd um, which was very sad. Um, fuck those bastard cops and I'm saying that. Uh, Lily Jean, uh, you are an arsehole as well by the looks of things. But my god, so I can't draw, I can't blend, I, I can't even earn an achievement? It's like people are verbally murdering me. It, it's horrible. And you know, with what just happened to this this poor man um, of color, and to see people still on about this drama, I'm disgusted. Uh, I firstly, Lily Jean, right, let's talk about the things you've achieved, because, you know, you're saying that you can't even have an achievement, and that people are verbally murdering you. Well, that's quite a nice thing to say, isn't it, with all the things going on in the world right now. But let's look at your achievements. Uh, faked being an influencer with uh, a million followers. Got uh, uh, an imaginary boyfriend we've never met called Fipe. <laughs> Fuck's sake, hold it together. So in case you can't tell why the reason people are pissed off is because she used the phrase that people are apparently verbally murdering her and then quickly segues onto the fact that an actual man of colour has been actually killed by the name of George Floyd, a name that you never said in that video and you decide to bitch on about how the fact you are being verbally murdered. Yes, Lily Jean, uh, when you address your past racism, how about that, eh? What if I was to say that I am disgusted with you for not addressing your past racism and trying to compare you being verbally murdered to all the real, real world issues going on right now? You know, <laughs> quite ironic because you yourself don't really live in a real world, do you? With these fucking photoshops going on. Which actually nicely leads on to my next point again. Whoa, someone caught Lily Jean on the street again and took a picture of her. Wow, I have so many fans. No, my friends, uh, she doesn't have a lot of fans. That, uh, her mother took that picture. Uh, yeah. The mother. I know, right? And they're probably, and there's a lot of people in the comment section. Oh, you better watch out. Her mother's gonna dox you. Oh, she's coming for you, you know? But not to worry, we're in this as a team, remember? We're a team in this. Uh, we will defend the wrath of Lily Jean's mother. <laughs> I can't believe I just said those words. But yes, all in good time, my friends. Right, okay. Now there's the camera, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's the camera. <laughs> Alright everyone, so today I'm with Arthur, Callum and Becky. And I thought it'd be a good idea, since we're talking about, you know, people faking their lives on the internet, I thought it'd be a great idea if we looked at me when I was younger, because I've been a, a victim of that myself. <gasps> so instead of you taking the piss out of people, usually we get to take the piss out of That's you. That's right. Yes! 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 So it's game! <laughs> oh no, I'm just warning you, this is going to be bad. And I'm really sorry for all these pictures. I was young once, okay, and... It's my birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> That's By the way, I didn't know. <laughs> I was young once. It's my birthday today. I want happy birthday in the comment section right now, or I'm going to kick off. I think it's my birthday. <laughs> it is my birthday. Right, oh my god. Oh, fucking you know. hell. Right, should we start off with the younger ones, or the ones just from a year and a half ago, two years um, ago? I think work your way down to the younger ones. Yeah. The bad <laughs> ones. The really fucking bad ones. I think it'll be a watch time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. Think about the algorithm, Curtis. <laughs> Oh my god, are you sick of middle finger off? <laughs> Who do you think you are, Curtis Price? He's sharp as fuck. Sharp as fuck. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You look like worse than that! Ah! <laughs> I know it is your birthday and everything, Curtis, but I think we may have words about moving out. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, there's another one you know. Uh, I just got a new watch, basically, and um, it had an expensive price tag, we could say. <laughs> This bad boy. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you? I know, I know, I know. What man. the fuck? Anyway, How much did that watch actually cost? That watch actually cost about two hundred quid, but okay, yeah, so but it was quite expensive. It's expensive it was tag on that bad boy. Expensive <laughs> tag. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
last part, there's Bruce coming in there. I'm shaking me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Eight secrets to grow a YouTube channel. Oh my god. Wait, how, how many subs did you have at this point? 1k. Ah, brilliant! You know what I was You know that that was just printed off a fucking Google forum and I made it up against it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to cardiac arrest? Oh, I'm really cringing right now. And that was the moment that Curse realised he wanted to use characters in his videos. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know what that night turned out. Oh Where's my your head? Wait. Oh, okay. Who are you with? Um, I'm got... <laughs> <laughs> What? When you hit 1.6k on YouTube, this is the kind of videos I used to upload every single mile so I used to upload a new Instagram video. 1.6k, that classic <laughs> master. <laughs> 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 Get rid, get rid. We're getting to a point now where we've looked at the things since three or four years ago. Now we're going to get to the point where I pretended to be rich online. It gets worse, yeah. No, oh, this isn't the bad stuff. This isn't the bad stuff. I was really young, yeah, right? I'm just letting you know, I was really fucking young. Curse, <laughs> relax, it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Mate, money's dirty as well, like. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> bitches in the house. I suppose on the phone to money. In what house, Curtis? In your house? In my council house, by in your house. <laughs> in your house was your uncle. <laughs> Where was this posted? Instagram. Right. Did you have oh. any mates in school? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't make that. <laughs> and uh, the price tags are on the cap, 25 quid. 20 25 quid. quid. Oh, People talk about this in school. Like, no, you go, no, no, they, no, they, they wouldn't mess with me in school. They really thought I was rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I tricked everyone. From. Yeah, that was, um, that's practically the worst of it. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to pack your bags yeah. and uh, make I your way back to Wales. I get one of those fucking on my shoulders that I walk out. Yeah, it's you're definitely strike. normal now. Yeah. <laughs> my balls sank into now. my stomach after this. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh, 